the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, the Savior of man. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in the heavens. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Do you seek to break away from us? We will rip you apart. He left you here with us under our rule. He does not love you. Come back to us and we will give you the world. Stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Oh, if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a servant? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask it?
We the angels are the thoughts of Yahweh that came forth from Yahweh by Yahweh's second manifestation of the Godhead as the word of Son. We the angels were called forth as creaturely beings in this heavenly substance of consciousness you see here, into an angelic substantial ality, substantial ality, substantial ality. The devil's name was Hillel, the shining one, the covering cherub, the prince throne thought or angel of these regions, created by Yahweh to shine or produce light in the earth in the first two heavens here. However, the devil insanely attempted to steal the power of the Godhead, the fiery manifestation you see there. So long old Zafria that the good angel was obedient to Yahweh, a bright light rested on him and on his hosts. But when he transgressed Yahweh's commandment, he deprived him of that bright nature, and he became dark. And when the devil was in the heavens, in the realms of light, he knew nothing of this darkness, but he transgressed, and Yahweh made him fall from heaven upon the earth. And it was this darkness that came upon him, when Helal was in Eden. He was the light of this domain, thus was his name Helal ben Shehal, Shehal, the Shining One, the Son of the Dawn, Howbeat, that Yahweh made him dark, and it was this darkness that was on the face of the deep. Helal and his mamma Don became household Tom, the adversary, by leaving the spiritual mind of Yahweh, and became the carnal mind, that is at enmity against Yahweh. That mind that can never be subjected to the law of Yahweh, and neither can it ever, ever, ever. We have shown you how the devil lost his beautiful form when he faced Michael. The Prince Throne Angel thought of the first manifestation of the Godhead who is our Father, Yahweh Elohim, and how Michael struck his right eye, and by this, he can no longer see the light, nor the things of the spiritual mind of Yahweh. We have shown you how we are made ministering spirits from the beginning to minister to Yahweh's image and likenesses, all those who would inherit eternal life in paradise. And with this, we have shown you that the devil before he lost his place, his place, his place. he was also created to minister to mankind the knowledge of Yahweh as well, pertaining to this domain before his recalcitrancy. We have also shown you that when the devil and his cognoscenti were banished from the high heavens due to their peripetia, from the royal edict, and by means of their darkness, their presence destroyed the earth, and because of this, Yahweh had to resurrect this region by saying, Let there be light, there be light, and separated the light of Yeshua the Messiah, who is the heavenly perception himself. From the dark light of night, the evil obscurity. With all of this, O oh man, we will now show you that first battle between the thoughts of angels of the carnal mind, who is Satan, and the bright ones of the heavens, thoughts from the spiritual mind of Yahweh, Yahweh, and the words and qualities that issues from us, the holy thoughts, where you will know where the evil qualities do originate, notwithstanding to also make you aware of the invisible thoughts that speaks to you in your mind, so as to become attentive to them towards taking heed as to not fall into temptation. 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 Do you remember when we taught you that at every manifestation or divine principle of the Godhead, there appeared along with each appearance, a prince throne angel or heavenly thought, as a representative of that particular principle? Your brother Stephen spoke well in what we taught him, when he said that the law was given by the disposition of angels, 
but the law did come from the Prince Throne Angel and his confrères of that first manifestation of the Godhead, who is Yahweh Elohim. Michael and the legions who are under his command did distribute the law from Yahweh, from Yahweh, from Yahweh. Running adjacent to Michael being the Prince Throne Angel to Yahweh in his first fiery manifestation as the Holy Creator of all good and righteousness. Michael is also the Commander of Host and stands over all the angelic thoughts of the heavens. All the legions of angels in these higher heavenly states of consciousness. Michael is the Angel of the Covenant, the Covenant, the Covenant, the Covenant, the Covenant. At the manifestation of the Word or Son, Yahshua the Messiah, where Yahweh took on shape and formed within himself as the heavenly spiritual man, who created all the heavenly host of thoughts or angels, and also the heavens and the earth. He who is now called the Devil and Satan was endowed with a spectacular light by Yahshua, who is the light of all, and placed as the Prince Throne, angel thought of the earth the first heaven, and the second heaven as a representative of the word or sun principle. The devil's name was then Hellel. However, he left his place, his throne, by devising an unspeakable murderous and terrible disposition, and sought the power of the Godhead who is Yahweh himself, thus lost his holy name. The devil had no good attention towards your will, just as most of mankind. Those who accept the devil's image, for when the devil approached your will in his imagination to inflict harm on your will, the divine fiery origin of all things, your will then introduced Michael, the fiery prince thrown thought, for the set purpose to reason with him. The devil rejected your love, mercy, and compassion, and fell upon Michael's martial introduction, and the devil lost his beautiful form, and was permanently sealed in his evil imagination. The devil also lost his right eye, which is not like a physical eye, but the spiritual eye, in what the right eye represents spiritually in that which you know well of and can see clearly. Even by holding most of your brethren who loves the devil, presenting or exhibiting the one eye of Satan, one eye of Satan, one eye of Satan. Uriel is the prince, throne angel of the third manifestation or office of the Holy Spirit. And he and Michael kept their place and did not, and will not deviate from the royal edict. For they love the holy fiat. They worship, adore, and cherish us to our we with much wisdom and adoration. You will see them shortly. I am commanded to show you the birth of the carnal mind, the very mind of Satan. When an angel thought is created out from Yahweh, as the word or son, as you well know, we have a thinking apparatus in the power of Yahweh, to reason with a real thinking cognition, well capable of a divine apperception, with power to perform what we think. We become a mind in our own right, fastened to a particular working of reality. We function as the source that reality is moved, projecting that particular facet of reality towards making that thing whatsoever your we ordained us to do, to become real and substantial especially for mankind to be able to see and experience. By this heavenly law, we have a free choice to yield our thinking apparatuses to your we out of love, or we could choose the unthinkable monstrosity, in that you and I saw along with all the heavens where we come to know and see in the sin of the devil, the devil, the devil, 
The army is holy. Holy, 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 holy. The only divine good. The only nature that the true reality can ever be. And obedience to Yahweh's scale of holiness is the only life. For it is not as if we are being obedient just only for Yahweh's sake. Which, by the way, produces great joy in his being. For it is his desire that we choose to live. But we are obedient for ourselves as well. As a pronouncement to him. That says we love the holy joyous life that he gave us and are glad that it was not a life of pain and agony, which that life came from the devil's center. Yahweh wants you and I to be obedient so we can live. Yahweh created us for life, and there is no life outside of holiness. There is no life outside of Yahweh. So, he who made themselves evil by being recalcitrant towards the holy edict, which is Yahweh's very own being. The same have chosen to self-terminate the free gift of life, which has all joviality, geniality, delectations, and elations. Since Yahweh is holy and undefiled, everything, especially angel and mankind, must from divine arbitration be holy and undefiled as well. For Yahweh knows no evil, and has no evil in his being, and he never, ever, created evil, or ordained such a thing to ever come into existence. The wages of sin is death, and by the sheer being of evil, it is the opposite of Yahweh who is life, life, life. Yahweh wills not the destruction of angel nor man, however, Yahweh left space for his intelligent creatures, both angel and mankind, to choose his being of life and righteousness, or the disobedience which is evil, the sin, and have their being therein. Yahweh is freedom of choice. We see this by him coming from inscrutableness into a working reality, and with this, naturally endowed his creatures with the same freedom, 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 freedom. Yahweh yeah, did not create evil. However, he knew it would come into being in his divine for knowledge, in the power of potentiality that Yahweh brought forth, which had to be allowed from Yahweh in order to have creatures with autonomy to love him from a real working center. Without Yahweh creating this power of potentiality, without this space for his creatures to choose him, which is holiness, there would be no creature distinct from Yahweh at all, at all, at all, at all. This apperception that we heavenly thoughts have is no small thing to a Safria, for when we yield our powers to perform a heavenly duty, Yahweh knows of it, and he becomes divinely happy. Yahweh's happiness shoots forth love, that in turn gives us power, enjoyment, and he increases our potential and abilities by adding to us more of his words, the heavenly bread, bread. thereby bread. rendering us more powerful than before. By this Zafria, we increase for all eternity and infinite time, becoming more wonderful in the heavenly states of consciousness. Conscious. Conscious. The devil and his myrmidon were highly active holy thoughts and were given the power to produce things in the heavens relative to his domain because of his active nature the devil is called a he in scripture not like the fallen symbol of what a male is in the telluric world he is not a man but this means that he is a creature of activity and every active creature generates a passiveness to work from and by this law, generates their own passiveness by their own activity. The devil's activity or movements generates naturally a passiveness, and this passiveness is an atmosphere or a domain. Every active principle generates a passiveness for itself, as a receiving apparatus to receive the works or the activity therefrom, like a male and female counterpart. 
This came from your we as the you is the active side of your we, and the we is the female side of your we. For your we is male and female within himself, and not a male or female as in the sex, but male and female as to active and passive. Thus, your we created all things male and female, or active and passive. Where you come to see in the original text, as the sun is a male, the moon and the earth is female, etc. And Yahweh even created mankind in his exact image and likeness. Male and female created he then. When the devil and his angels were in their first original state, the atmosphere that the devil and the legion he had under his command given to him by Yahweh produced an atmosphere or a passive environment that was beautiful, full of a joyous knowledge in the form of musical notes, chords, and scales of understandings, which produced forms of beauty and love pertaining to the comprehension of Yahweh's glory. However, when he and his confreres fell, their activity changed into that which is evil producing sin, that has its workings and recognizable form in the quantum. Quantum, 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 quantum. This subatomic low knowledge that was inert and had no residence in reality became their wisdom and they were stripped of Yahweh's heavenly wisdom. In that very second they imagined something that was not of Yahweh's nature. nature, 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 nature. From the before mentioned this is why angels can never recover after such a change in our being, because we were created for a particular ministration towards producing the concepts of reality and have no tempter to tempt us towards disobeying Yahweh as man does. And if we conceive a byword of iniquity in us, it was done from our own willing center, from a willful blasphemy of the Holy Spirit with no tempter, and have decided to deliberately break from our holy thinking into that which is contrary to Yahweh as an enemy. And by this, no mercy can be given to us, for we are the very holy spirits from Yahweh of spirits, and would fall unto oblivion by that evil change of our holy operation, divesting and divorcing ourselves from the very holy mind of Yahweh. And by this, Changing our thought form is permanent, unredeemable, and this knowledge is infused in us by Yahweh and is of no surprise to us. Therefore Zafria, as angels are the thoughts of the heavens, as a lower servant mind within the mind of Yahweh, when the devil deviated from the holy edict, he became the only polar opposite that was not from the beginning. Nor was it the attentions of Yahweh who was the spiritual mind for this to be so, and the devil became the carnal mind, the only mind that is at enmity against Yahweh. From what we showed you above, this mind can no longer be subjected to the law of Yahweh forever. This mind never came out of Yahweh's heart from the divine fiat, but was a doing of the devil. Keeping in mind that an angel or thought is a mind in their own right, amalgamated into the structure of reality, the devil before his fall was the covering cherub of the earth, first heaven and second heaven, as the shining one of these regions created to render light which is perception in the heavens, whereas he was to minister to mankind the knowledges of Yahweh. When the devil and his cognoscenti move now as the evil, in their non-stop activity, from their movement, they generate now a hellish atmosphere, a hellish passiveness, and the passiveness is a female in nature, and is called a she. This is why it is said that hell has enlarged herself, where the devil, the most of mankind, are dwellers of hell, which is the carnal mind, this can be seen in scripture that Yahweh cast the devil and his angels into hell 
for hell is the carnal mind, the kingdom, or self-made dwelling, or atmosphere, that is generated from their own movements to and fro, driven by a terrible fire, as they were scorched by the fire principle of Yahweh. You can come to understand the set universal law in all things that are active and have activity, like tornadoes, volcanoes, and comets as these do form a passive atmosphere that has its birth from their active movement. And this is seen even in man. You have seen when a man has his workings in great sins as a murderer or any other kinds of sins which forms a hellish, toxic person of a gross disposition. Like when a man is in great anger, how he carries a hellish, invisible, passive atmosphere that you can perceive as hostile, or dangerous, or a woman or a man who has the spirits of lust in them, who carries or generate from their own actions a hellish, lustful atmosphere, or even a holy man who has his workings with Yahweh how his holy atmosphere is a heavenly kingdom and is perceived as a peaceful, pleasant domain. This living axiom of that which we speak of it interpenetrates through all creation. 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 Since we have taught you the true nature of hell, the carnal hell mind, that was not from the beginning, but is now in consciousness until Yahweh place it into the lake of fire, which is his first manifestation without mixture. We will now show you what the fallen angels brought into existence, from their willful change of form, with all the wicked words and concepts that forms their kingdom of the carnal hell mind, into the despicableness as a blasphemous operation within the holes of Yahweh's mind.